Okay, I hope you guys are all doing alright today. I really wanted to just do a quick video going through this sketchbook, which I recently... I kind of finished it, but there's still a couple pages left. But I just wanted to go through it and show you guys uh, what the paintings were, and also what it looks like when I mess up on a painting, and I give up halfway through. But before that, this sketchbook is by Moleskin. It's a Moleskin hardcover pocket watercolor sketchbook. It's kind of a mouthful, but... I used to use the Stillman and Burns Zeta series, or maybe it was the Beta series, but I didn't like the paper, so this is the one I'm using now, and probably the one I'll be using uh, for the foreseeable future. Okay, so let's just get right into it. These first three paintings you're going to see are honestly incredibly hard for me to look at, but I guess that's a good thing. It means I've uh, improved at least a little bit. But they were all done in a video where I tried to use Google Earth as a reference, and I went to different countries and painted scenes there. I think they turned out all right. I just need to, I needed to understand blending a little bit more. This painting here on the left fell apart really quickly. I think I just had too much to focus on. I should have focused on the values and then blending, but I got overwhelmed with all the colors and uh, some of the textures. This portrait here on the left was the first portrait I did in this sketchbook. And I was trying something different. I think I had a good idea. Try to keep the colors bright and the features kind of simple, but I do better further in the sketchbook. Now for both of these paintings on this spread, I am pretty proud of them both. I think that I was able to showcase what I wanted to. I did some interesting brush strokes and I was able to keep things pretty simple. And this one on the right turned out to be one of my favorite videos of this year. Here's a failed sketch. And this painting actually kind of opened the door to what I'm kind of working on now, which is um, book covers. Even though this isn't any kind of book cover, I really wanted to be able to uh, paint faces in a small but still readable way and I think this one was the kind of first step into doing that. Uh, this one I painted before Hurricane Ian and it's, it's still wet. Well it's not still wet but the pages you can see is smudged from when it got rained on. I never ended up finishing this sketch. I think it just got too bright and it didn't look right for me. This painting, I like the texture. I used color pencils in a lot of it. So as you can see here, there's like, you can see the little, uh, you can see the texture of the pencil. And I think that's pretty cool. This one I barely even got started. And in this painting, I tried to challenge myself to keep it mostly watercolors and not add gouache. I did end up adding some, but for the most part, I stayed true and uh, kept it mostly watercolor. I actually like how this one turned out. I like the vignette and uh, I think the colors really do pop. This sketch is also kind of hard to look at. There's a couple things I wish I could have done better, but as it stands, I think it's all right. Now, this painting is probably my favorite in the whole sketchbook. Uh, recently, I've been getting into Spaghetti Westerns, which is uh, Western movies that were filmed in the 50s and 60s and 70s, I believe, in Italy. 
and this is one from a this is a scene from a spaghetti western called in god said to cain and uh, yeah i think it turned out pretty good i like the colors and i think i was able to like find a new style that i've never done before like a mix of kind of cartoony but also like pretty good proportions so i think this one turned out really good this painting I did this uh, as a thumbnail for a bigger painting it was for a contest my library was having I never ended up turning it in I never ended up uh, finishing this piece or the bigger one but that's what it was for oh and this painting this painting ended up turning out to be one of my favorite plein air paintings I love that bright uh, green that's a paint by Shinhan I think it's called Linden Green, and it actually is very, very cool. Uh, this also ended up being one of the best performing videos I did, at least about plain air. This one, I absolutely, I know hate is a strong word, but this one I very strongly dislike. Uh, it definitely was a lazy painting. I had to get a video up quickly, and that's what I turned out. I didn't, I don't like that one. This is a scene from uh, Rocky 3 or 4, I don't know which one it was, probably Rocky 3, but I never ended up finishing it, and that's what it was. And this painting taught me a lot. This painting, I thought it turned out great. Uh, in the video, I thought the editing was cool and everything, but that's when I realized that uh, what YouTube likes and what you like are two different things. So if anybody's going to make a YouTube channel, just know that. Uh, when you think a painting turns out really good, that doesn't mean that it's uh, going to do well on YouTube. Or vice versa, if a video does bad on YouTube or on social media, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad painting. It's just sometimes things don't quite line up like that. Here's another small sketch I did. I never finished this one. This one I did finish, but I'm not a huge fan of it. And then this one was another attempt at a book cover, but I just don't know what went wrong. There's all kinds of like, I think it might be the reference. I'm gonna blame the reference on this one, but there wasn't many like shadows and highlights on the face to really be able to cut the form well. And it looks, uh, it looks questionable at best, I'll say that. Here's another book cover that I actually did, uh, finish. I think it turned out pretty cool. Uh, I think it looks better as a book cover than as, like, a, just a piece of art. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I did this one with the help of an AI art generator. So I think from here on out, what you're going to be seeing is uh, book cover designs. So fictional book covers that I make up, um, I'll try to add them to the video so that you can see what they turn into. But that's lately that's been what I've been working on while I'm not making YouTube videos. If you haven't seen this painting, that means you missed last week's video. 
and I guess you can check it out. But this one I try to keep it mostly watercolor. And with this one, this is also another book cover, but it ended up not working out. I was having some issues with the face and trying to do it because the reference was so blurry that it was hard to get any kind of features. And I think this is the last page and it also is a failure. Well, I guess not really a failure. It was a learning experience that turned out terrible. <laughs>